It's Papa Hip Hop America. It's LaVar Sierra, rapper turned hacker, a.k.a. Captain OG. I got a question for you today, black people. I want to know today, 2015, who is responsible for the perception of black people and the things that go on in our community? I mean, I look around, I look at world star hip hop, I look at media takeout. These are the number one web properties in, um, in, in, in the black community for the urban demographic. This is not some racist terrorist organization putting out content to make us look like sambos and unintelligent. This is what we're choosing to represent ourselves. I mean, at, at some point, if we're going to cry justice and worry about Confederate flags and other day a news, news, news article came out that Google is tagging us as black people's pictures as animals on the web and all of that. But who's responsible for that perception? I heard a statistic a couple years ago that said somewhere around 75 to 80 percent of white Americans do not live around black people, meaning by and large, they do not live where black people are, right, in, in neighborhoods full of black people. So what would be a person from outside of our community's point of reference for who we are and what we represent and what we're about? There's no other place to look but the content and media we produce. We exalt these images and say this is who we are. Now that we have a voice with the internet and uh, uh, technology, now that we can say what we want and say, hey, world, this is who we are, this is what we, rep what we represent, and this is our identity. We exalt these things. We, black men, are having kids with different women, leaving the women to fend for themselves in numbers too, too large. We are um, treating jail, and getting locked up and hustling like it's some sort of strike, right? So who's responsible for that perception? If we choose to say, hey, look at Empire, Love and Hip Hop, all this Ratchet TV is done by us. We create this. So why, when we celebrate these images and, and these stereotypes, if you will, and say, this is who we are, why is it that when white people take it at face value, we get mad? Maybe they just believe what we're saying about ourselves, right? So can we hold them responsible, right? It's us making fun of each other, posting videos of black kids fighting after school, videos of little girls dancing sexually like it's cute. You know what I'm saying? Who's to blame for that? Are you? What's on your timeline, right? What you sharing about black people? If a white person never knew anything about black people and they come to your timeline, what they gonna see? Anything edifying, uplifting, educational, or anything like that? Or they just gonna see pure ratchet, right? And then what? And then the same people you gotta go to work with, same people that's gonna be your future employers and your kids' future classmates, right, is watching the same content laughing with you. Except for they laughing at you, fam. They laughing at you. So what you sharing? What you representing, huh? What are you telling the world your people represent? Check your own timeline. Next time you want to beef about Confederate flags and racism, who's holding you down and all that, check your own timeline. Facts or not?